Invasion of the Neptune Men. A bunch of kids who look like rejects from the Japanese version of Lord of the Flies run around while aliens from Neptune, presumably, blow up stock footage, including a building with a giant mural of Adolf Hitler. And if that doesn't make you want to watch it, then you're as uncultured as these guys. <laughs> Holds an IMDb rating of 2.2 and looks to be the 78th worst film, and this doesn't disappoint. Well, it does. It, it really does. Although there's definitely an audience for torpedo-headed aliens and kids almost as intelligent as that annoying genius kid in Big Hero 6. If someone invented those microbots, it would be world news, never mind epoxy school science showcase. People would be losing their shit. Anyway, I digress. Sonny Chiba stars at the start of his career as the space chief who went on to become famous to Western audiences for his role in Kill Bill and Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I emphasise start of his career as it would be a tragedy if he joined the ranks of actors appearing in absolute garbage for the money. <coughs> De Niro. <coughs> Sorry about that. Unfortunately, Chiba died last year, but he had an acting history which contrasted Bruce Lee's relatively graceful screen presence and was doing his own stunts long before the likes of Jackie Chan. Look at this scene from The Street Fighter. Yeah, I bet. Neptune Men could have been a very different movie if we had 70s era Chiba. So, let's get into it! The movie starts with a science teacher showing a film about a satellite going to the moon and then they all go out to watch for a satellite in the daytime. What? Then they perv on a couple. Suddenly, a rocket lands. They all run to sea, but are soon surrounded by rocket-headed men. Rocket the Neptune men close in and start to strangle the boys, but a blast of wind knocks everyone down. Space Chief rides into the rescue in his rocket car. Where did he come from? Would totes not trust this oddly dressed dude? If the Space Chief was so great, why rely on the kids to name him? Why didn't he already have a badass name? Granted, Space Chief isn't as hero -y as Judge Dredd, or hell, even Blossoms, Bubbles and Buttercup, but still. <laughs> The boys run off. I don't blame them. The kids' parents are not only never seen, they're never even mentioned. Hello, is this social services? Space Chief gets in a fisticuffs with the aliens. I guess transport is the only thing they're technologically advanced in. Still, Space Chief's punch looked like a mild inconvenience for this one. Look at that! Still, they withdraw to the ship and they blast off. Oh yeah, all the electrical things in the city start messing up for some reason. The boys interrupt some doctor giving a speech and then the reporters ask what caused the electrical reversal and then the boy says it was spacemen and then they all laugh at him. But Tachibana believes them because he is really the space chief. I mean this is the best twist since Psycho the year before. What a time to be alive! They take a reporter out to the site and then they find a bit of a rocket. And then the tests show that the elements that are in the rocket part are only found on Neptune. Wow, these kids are doing way more than the space sheriff, or chief, whatever. The Neptune men return, firing missiles at the city. And then the city's force field dome stops the missiles, and the Neptune men fly off. I guess Homer was way too OP then. <laughs> Later, a message pod lands outside the boys' home, and then the Neptune men tell the Earthlings that they will return and defeat the Electrodome. Why do villains in movies always give a heads up? You wouldn't have had Michael Myers doing this, would you? Hey, by the way, I'm going to kill you at exactly 12.30 tomorrow. Can you make sure you're in? Okay, thanks, bye. Soldiers are stationed all around the dome's power control building. It gets windy and then the children blow away. Evil soldiers fight real soldiers. Why do aliens in the form of human men? wear makeup. But anyway, the power for the dome and missile defences is destroyed. The doctor is left unconscious from the attack. The aliens return and then they start shooting up a bunch of city buildings and they blow up dramatically. Wait, 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 is, is that Hitler? You guys gonna explain the context for this? Oh, okay, nope. Space Chief eventually shoots the saucers all down and then the doctor helps fix the missile defences which are then used to blow up the Neptune men's mothership. The Space Chief's weapons weren't even the thing that destroyed the Neptune men in the end, just good old-fashioned missiles. And then everyone sits around the fountain, the boys talk of inventing stuff cooler than what the Space Chief has and flying to Mars. Why? They walk back and the film ends. The children aren't affected by anything they've just experienced, unlike me. So what have we learnt from all this? Well, futuristic weapons are just for decoration, alien attacks are actually much slower than any other movie leads us to believe, and children don't need any help whatsoever. Goodbye. Thanks for watching guys, please like, subscribe, comment below, click on these videos if you want or don't, free will and all that. Remember, be bold, explore, and I'll see you on the next video in a bit.